Hello, my name is Neil and if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're not turning to the channel, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing our makeup, but not only we're doing our makeup, we're reviewing the Sailor Moon X um, ColourPop collection. I have the palette here with me, the two lipsticks, and the two blushes. I did a little unboxing, so while we're trying these on, I'm going to be also uh, putting that on camera so you can see what I'm dipping into. Um, first of all, I already did my base. Second of all, I usually don't do this type of videos where I review the product. I usually, when I do my makeup, it's more to talk about certain things. Also, this video like should have been up a long time ago because this has been a pretty long time do um but it hasn't so yeah we're doing it now i took off the makeup i had this morning and i of course put my base because i wanted to just right away hop into this video so what we're first going to do is of course prime our eyes so i can start with the eyeshadow look specifically um i wanted to do something completely different than what i did than what everyone else did. I saw a lot of people doing colorful looks and I wanna do something more neutral, but also have a pop of color in there. So let's see what I come up with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up so we can start doing that. Now, in with this palette, as you can see, like every other video, it does have this holographic, not holographic, but this type of material where you, it changes up to different uh, pictures. I don't know what it really is called. And when you open it up, um, it has all these shadows here. So I'm planning to work with this shadow, Luna, Miracle Romance, and um, Twilight Flash or Moonlight, Camp, Moonlight Castle. Maybe a little bit of Shining Moon, but I don't know. I kind of also probably would use Mare... Serenities? Serenities? I don't know. I'm so bad with these names. Um, I don't want to work with like these other shades. I kind of want to work more with those neutral glittery shades. So we'll see what I come up with. I might have to change up a lot, but we'll see how I go around because I've never done a video like this before. I really quickly popped on a base to do the eyeshadow. I usually don't do my foundation first, so this is kind of a new thing for me. Like I said, I want to pop into Twilight Flash and see how that one works. I have, of course, my handy nanny mirror. I also have a mirror right there, but I don't think I can see anything from that. Um, so I'm just gonna try and see if I can pop this in here. As you know, I really love like ColourPop products and it's honestly like a new thing for me, so I don't know. Um, also, I use this base a lot, so I'm trying to give this a fair shot. I also never apply my base first, so this is kind of a different thing, but I did want to spend less time doing my makeup and more time um, reviewing on camera because honestly I don't really need the base. Um, it's a pretty cool color. I knew it's going to be a little bit more orangey because that's how it looks on the palette, but sometimes these type of shades don't really appear like that. I'm going to try and see if I can hop on to this shade right here and see if it's any good. I'm just going to try out Mooncastle and see if it's any different. Honestly, it's kind of darker than it is in the palette, but that's kind of normal for ColourPop. Notice. I'm just trying to like really blend that out and really get it in there. I really want to apply this shade, but I don't know. Let me try and swatch it. Ooh, it's not. 
brown I wanted but I'll try it I have shades like this um so let me see how it looks on this eye It does have a shift and it's kind of hard to dig into the palette, but mm. we'll see. Also, there's some shades that it has like a star to it. So this one, which is the one I'm actually digging into, says not intended for use in the immediate eye area whoops did that anyways um and also tuxedo rose this one well where do you want me to put it this is a pressed powder palette which is basically an eyeshadow palette you don't you don't want me to apply it onto my eyes and where do you want me to apply this thing it's Honestly, really pretty. This is a really pretty look. I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye, and then we can go ahead and start doing the eyeliner that I really want to do. So I'm just gonna do everything I did on this eye on here, and then we can do the next step. I don't know if I said it, but like this eyeshadow, the one that I put on my lid, is kind of difficult to apply. I don't want to judge, but um kind of difficult to apply. Um, I'm going to take my primer. Well, I'll try to take my primer. I need more of this because it's getting empty. So let me take this brush here. I'm going to just uh, try and make a little liner kind of thing going on. I want to use that to apply that little kind of neon eye purple. So I'm trying to like come in here. Primer. I don't know if it's gonna work, but hopefully it does, cause I can't go back. <laughs> completely black and I hope I can just like work with it because honestly I would like to have perfect use of this liner brush. This is one. I'm going to try and see if I can pack it. So I'm going to clean this brush here. I'm using I'm using Miracle Romance, this color right here. It's a really nice, like, pigmented color. So I hopefully get it super pigmented like that in here. Go with your super pigmented <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't look like it's doing much. It's not packing a punch. I'm gonna try white liner on this side to see if that's better. Because honestly, I don't know. I'm trying to pack a punch there. It's really not doing much. I'm not really naming the products that are not from this collection because a lot of things that are not from Hulk Pop right now. Like this liner here. It's from NYX. I'm trying to look good. A really like nice vibrant wing. This is kind of vibrant, but I want the shade under to have a punch.
I want it to be noticeable that there's like it's a shade there. One, two, three. that's white and this is not white so i'm gonna try and redo this one off camera to see if i can fix it and make it a white liner so i can add that purple again because honestly there's not really much look at the highlight though there's not really really much color there that i really like so i'm gonna do that off camera so as you can see that like white liner is really bright so i'm going to try like try and use this brush instead for the um colored liner that i'm trying to use so i'm going to try and go back with this one and see if it pack it, packs a punch this time because honestly it felt like it really didn't do much of what i wanted like i want color like a deepened color and i felt like that wasn't really doing much for it so i'm gonna try again over the white liner it really does help because it looks like it is but i don't know So that's as much as I can do to actually help that because it's not going to work anymore. But I'm going to put spray on this. Just going to a little farther. Cleaning it off. And then I'm going to go into this shade right here. Pretty shade. The Luna. Probably one of my favorite shades out of this whole palette, to be honest. And we're going to apply that into the inner corner. Why? Because that freaking shade is a must for the inner corner so i'm gonna do something under here i don't know what i want to do i might use tuxedo rose or miracle romance you try miracle romance and like kind of Oh yeah, no problem. I'm done with the eyeshadow portion, so I'm gonna try and start doing the blush. I honestly have both. Um, both of them are honestly good, but I don't know which one I'm preferring over the other one. Like this one is super pretty, actually. It might be this one or the moon. I thought I was gonna do cat's eye, but um, I'm kind of falling for this one, so I'm gonna just try not to touch the cat. But um, that's gonna happen, and we're just gonna go for it. I guess. Ooh, okay. Expected to work like that on the face, but it's good. In a cute way, like it looks very sim like, so I'm not mad at it. We have both lipsticks. We have the um, plotted, plotted lip in Saggy. And then we have Bunhead. Just this one so honestly I don't know I might actually use butthead because I've been using butthead a lot I prefer it I'm gonna probably put on butthead I don't know if it's gonna look 
cute or whatever because I already applied it on the blush, but we'll see how it works. Actually, it works for this look, okay? Love that, hurry. Like this lipstick emphasizes your lip texture. Like it, it's very see-through. So just know that's a thing. I didn't know. This launched a long time ago, but yeah, to say. Does emphasize a lot of your lip stuff. Mm. It's actually like a, I kind of want to leave it a bit, tiny bit in certain areas. work. Let's do a little spritz, spritz of a spritz, spritz, spritz. I forgot this one. It wasn't continuous. <coughs> I don't know. Blow that around here. I should actually done something to my hair just do this stuff so I personally really like this look it's so cute the eyeliner definitely needs some work, but regardless of that, this kind of, this kind of works. <laughs> like, it really, really works. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cute or whatever. And yeah, that's really it. It's a really good palette and a really good collection and I rate it good. I like it. I actually do. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, this is the end of the look. I didn't expect it to turn like this, but it's obviously a good look. I like it. It's a cute, it's a cute little moment here. Um, but yeah, so if you like this video, thanks. If you don't like this video, also thanks for <laughs> just watching it and giving me some views. Um, again, my name is Dayla and I hope you join the family here that hasn't grown yet. <laughs> Probably wouldn't grow. I don't really feel like, you know, I like doing these videos and I like editing. So I just like continuously put out videos just cause, you know, cause I think it's cute or whatever. But yeah, so see you to the next one. How do you guys say? Yeah. Bye-bye.